हेलो एवरीवन आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर फाइव ऑन सीक्वेंस एंड सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस पावर सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स वेरिएबल एंड वी हैव आल्सो डिफाइंड रेडियस ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ पावर सीरीज सो एज वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट फॉर एवरी पावर सीरीज there exist a non negative real number denoted by capital r such that power series converges if absolute value of z minus center is less than r and power series is divergent if absolute value of z minus z0 is greater than r that means for every power series uh, with center z0 there exist a non negative real number capital r such that power series converges in this open disk and power series diverges outside this open disk so this number r is known as radius of convergence of the power series and this circle whose center is z0 and radius r this सर्कल इज नोन एज सर्कल ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ पावर सीरीज सो वी हैव सीन सम एग्जाम्पल्स एंड वी हैड फाइंड आउट रेडियस ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस यूजिंग रेशियो टेस्ट फॉर पावर रेशियो टेस्ट फॉर सीरीज ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर्स बट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम अनदर रिजल्ट यूजिंग दैट रिजल्ट वी कैन डिसाइड द रेडियस ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस ऑफ पावर सीरीज without using ratio test so we first understand this theorem which will help us to determine the radius of convergence of the power series using coefficients in the power series so suppose this is given power series let sigma a and z minus z0 to the power n n equal to 0 to infinity be given power series where z0 is center of the power series and these ans are coefficients they are complex constants so we construct this sequence using coefficients we consider this sequence absolute value of an plus 1 divided by an so it is like this if i start with a0 then first term of this sequence is a1 divided by a0 and its absolute value second term is absolute value of a2 divided by a1 so we consider this sequence absolute value of an plus 1 upon an and suppose this sequence is convergent and suppose its limit is small l so we find out limit of this sequence limit of absolute value of an plus 1 upon an as n tends to infinity and suppose this limit is small l then this result says that the radius of convergence is nothing but reciprocal of this limit that is 1 divided by this limit or we can write in this way 1 divided by l means limit n tending to infinity absolute value of reciprocal of this an divided by an plus 1 so using this formula we can directly find out radius of convergence of power series using coefficients of the power series so we understand this with the help of examples find the radius of convergence of this series so if we compare this series with sigma an if we compare with standard form sigma an z minus z0 to the power n n equal to 0 to infinity if we compare given power series with this then we have this as value of an so here an is 2n factorial divided by n factorial square therefore an plus 1 is we have to replace n by n plus 1 here so 2 times n plus 1 factorial divided by square of n plus 1 factorial this we can rewrite as 2n plus 2 factorial and we keep this as it is 
now by definite uh, by this uh, above theorem radius of convergence is limit and tending to infinity absolute value of an divided by an plus 1 so value of an is 2 2n factorial divided by n factorial square divided by an plus 1 so we have to take reciprocal of this which is n plus 1 factorial square divided by 2n plus 2 factorial now this 2n plus 2 factorial can be rewritten as 2n plus 2, 2n plus 1 into 2n factorial. Similarly, we write n plus 1 factorial equal to n plus 1 into n factorial and square of both. So it is n plus 1 square into square of n factorial. So here now this will cancel out, 2n factorial will cancel out with this 2n factorial n factorial square will cancel out and we are left with absolute value of n plus 1 square divided by this. But all these quantities are positive, so their absolute value is uh, they are itself. So we remove absolute value here because all these uh, numbers are positive, they are positive integers. Now to find out this limit, uh, we divide numerator and denominator by n square. So that means I divide n plus 1 square by n square and I divide 2n plus 2 into 2n plus 1 by n square. So here this I can rewrite as square of n plus 1 divided by n whole square which is 1 plus 1 by n whole square and this n square I separate as n into n. So one n I divide with this and another n I divide with this. So 2n plus 2 divided by n that is 2 plus 2 by n and 2n plus 1 divided by n that is 2 plus 1 by n. And now if we take n tending to infinity this is going to be 1 plus 1 by infinity that is 1 plus 0 square here 2 plus 2 by infinity which is 0, here 2 plus 1 by infinity which is 0. So finally it is 1 divided by 2 into 2 which is 4. So therefore radius of convergence is r equal to 1 by 4. So if we remember this formula, we can directly find out radius of convergence of power series if our power series is in this standard form. So we just have to find out limit of this sequence, absolute value of a n divided by a n plus 1. We consider one more example, series 6 plus 8 i raised to n, z raised to n. So if we compare with standard form, here a n is 6 plus 8 i raised to n. Therefore a n plus 1 is obtained by replacing n by n plus 1. Now radius of convergence is limit of absolute value of a n divided by a n plus 1. So we substitute values of a n and a n plus 1 here. And this we can rewrite as 6 plus 8 i raised to n divided by raised to n into this we can rewrite as 6 plus 8 i to the power n into 6 plus 8 i. So this will cancel out with this. So we have absolute value of 1 divided by 6 plus 8i and now absolute value of 1 is 1 and we have to write absolute value of 6 plus 8i. Now by the definition of absolute value, absolute value of 6 plus 8i is square root of 6 square which is 36 plus 8 square which is 64. So this is 1 over under root 100 which is 1 by 10 and limit of 1 by 10 is 1 by 10, it is constant. So therefore radius of convergence is r equal to 1 by 10. Now sometimes uh, they can ask this type of questions. Examine the behavior of the power series sigma z raised to n by n square on the circle of convergence. So circle of convergence means here this power series is in powers of z. 
so center of this power series is zero and we know that if r is the radius of convergence then this circle is known as circle of convergence of power series so first we find out radius of convergence of this power series and then we examine its behavior on the circle of convergence now to find out radius of convergence uh, we write down or uh, we find out limit of sequence a n upon a n plus 1 here a n is 1 by n square so a n is 1 by n square now r equal to limit of absolute value of a n divided by a n plus 1 a n is 1 by n square and a n plus 1 will be 1 by square of n plus 1. So, if we reverse it, if we will have n plus 1 square divided by n square. Now, all these are positive. So, we remove absolute value and this we can rewrite as 1 plus 1 by n whole square. So, therefore, this is 1 plus 1 by infinity which is 0. So, radius of convergence is r equal to 1 therefore circle of convergence of given series is nothing but absolute value of z equal to 1 that means circle of convergence is nothing but circle with center 0 and radius 1 so now if we consider any point on the circle of convergence then if our point is on the circle of convergence then we have to check whether this series is convergent or divergent we have to examine the behavior of this series on the circle of convergence that means if we consider any point on the boundary of the circle mod z equal to 1 then whether this series is convergent or not so for that we can use uh, we first find out absolute convergence so now if we consider absolute value of z raised to n by n square first we check the absolute convergence then this we can rewrite as sigma n equal to 1 to infinity absolute value of z raised to n divided by n square now if our point is on this circle mod z equal to 1 then we can replace mod z by 1 okay so we can write in this way if our point is on the circle of convergence so here i write if z lies on the circle mod z equal to 1 so on the circle of convergence our series becomes given power series becomes sigma 1 by n square n equal to 1 to infinity on the circle of convergence and we know that this series is convergent from real analysis we know that this is a p series with p equal to 2 greater than 1 so this is always convergent therefore sigma z raised to n by n square absolute value is convergent on this circle of convergence or it is convergent at every point on this circle mod z equal to 1 and if this series is convergent then original series is also convergent because we know that absolutely convergent series is always convergent so this is also convergent on this circle of convergence 
or given power series is convergent at every point on the circle of convergence. So, in this way using radius of convergence we have decided we have decided the behavior of given power series on the circle of convergence. So, this is very useful formula for radius of convergence. So, this is all about today's session. I hope you like this lecture. Thank you very much.